Here we are, folks. Welcome back to Big Board. All that sort of good fun stuff. Blah, blah, blah. Um, need to have a quick chat with you because I've got a situation where I've got a bunch of games to play. All that stuff there. Got a few changing, potentially changing circumstances going on in my personal life and work life, which may prevent me from playing a whole lot of stuff for the next maybe six months or so. Uh, nothing terribly dramatic, just a different gig, different work. But uh, between now and the 1st of April, I have an opportunity to, you know, either play one big game or play a lot of smaller games, uh, but perhaps not do as much reporting on them, maybe just uh, take a few happy snaps or run a few videos here and there. Um, some of it will go into the bank to uh, be posted later when I can't play, and other stuff would be uh, you know, just posted as we see fit, kind of on the, on the fly. And the reason why I'm doing a video about this is that I kind of want to get a pulse from folks as to what might be uh, interesting for you to see being played. Uh, I've got the, the list up behind me and I might spin around in the squeaky chair, so brace yourselves, it's going to be loud. Uh, and we can, you know, have a look at some of the games that are up on the board behind me. Uh, I've also got a couple of new games coming in and have the, the games that have just arrived. Plus, I do have the new Next War are coming perhaps as soon as the next two or three weeks. So it's going to be right on the cusp of, unfortunately, right on the cusp of me uh, me uh, being uh, super involved with this, uh, this other company. So uh, let's see. Let's have a look at this list behind me and see if there's anything that grabs your attention. And we'll try and work out what we, what we could do. And I was thinking, you know, I can, <clears throat> was going to try and set myself a goal of assuming rules are read, uh, a game every day or a day and a half or so. So like an SBI magazine game, so like the Sinai uh, uh, game, maybe play the 54 scenario out of that and maybe the 72 scenario out of that and get that done in a day or a day and a half. And then uh, another magazine game that I might have uh, like Panzer Core, whatever it is, whatever year that is, uh, maybe do some of that or another small uh, Rise of the Roman Republic scenario, which would probably take more than a day to play, but we can do something like that. We get some lock and load uh, rolling, we could get some World of War going, uh, we could uh, play larger games, we could try and do a next war Poland scenario if we wanted to. So uh, there's some ideas, but let's have a look up on here and see what's uh, available to uh, to be considered at the very least. I'm going to pause the video for a second. And I just realized because I'm using the front facing camera that if I show you the whiteboard, it's all going to be backwards anyway. So, so let's have a quick little run through here. Uh, ah, I do have the second world war, that Balkan front game. We could uh, goof around with that for a couple of days. I don't know how far we would get with it. Uh, cause I'm a little, you know, a little jaded on that. Um, Proud Monster would have to wait uh, for a Vassal session. Keep in mind, I've already got Holland 44 going in Vassal. I'm about to start a DAC 2 Vassal game. Uh, that's an OCS title. And I have one other going. Oh, I've got an OCS Edge of the World or Drive for Oil or something like that. I've got that uh, almost finished as well. So that would then leave us with uh, Ukraine 43, Anzio from Avalon Hill, Casino from SPI, Kursk, if we could do something for Kursk, I was thinking more along the lines of maybe a small scenario out of OCS. We could perhaps do that. Uh, we did the combat infantry thing that was kind of meh. Um, we could, uh, see, yeah, I'm not ready to try and tackle Hokan's Forest yet. So I've got Ukraine 44. We could also have a look at that guy. Pacific Fleet, that would take a little while. That's that Japanese uh, game from whatever magazine that's called, I forget now. Uh, my, my brain's gone, should have thought about that. Uh, <clears throat> I'm playing the African campaign on Vassal also, so we're trying to continue that action going. Played the pocket at Filets, well played some of it anyway, I wasn't that impressed. Uh, we could roll over to out of World War II into Ancients and look at uh, some great battles of history titles. 
We could do uh, a series on the Spartan Wars, the Servile Wars, uh, Dacia, uh, cataphract battles, or I could uh, try and set up uh, Pericles again. Once again, that would be a multi-day effort though. I could probably knock out at least one battle a day, if not more, on the Great Battles of History, subject to setup and, and complications with that sort of stuff. Uh, I mentioned Sinai from SBI. I actually have SBI and Decision Games, both uh, of those uh, games. So we could do a comparison there. That might be kind of fun. I've got uh, Angola uh, from SBI, I think it is, or, or Decision Games. I, I forget which one. I think it's Decision Games. Uh, so we could check that out. We could do a sniper scenario. That might be kind of fun to play the old uh, SBI TSR sniper game. Um, maybe use some of the Hetzer, uh, Hetzer rules, etc. Uh, some other games that are probably too big to try and tackle that I want to play. NATO, Korean War from uh, Victory Games, Gulf Strike, Light Division. We can maybe look at that, but that that's work because I've got to really got to get stuck into the rules on that. I've, I've started reading twice and uh, with the view that we were going to play on Vassal and haven't done that yet. Napoleonics. You know, it would be easy to grab one of the sucker, sucker, one of the Zucker titles and give one of them a shot because we all the rules are the same for those games regardless of the scale pretty much. So we could goof around with one of those, but they seem to take a little while to, to get going and I'm not sure how exciting that would be. Excuse me. The other thing we could do is invest all the time and look at the great campaigns of the uh, American Civil War, but I want to do something fairly big there. I'd, I'd like to get uh, two modules and and try and play in a, a linked or extended campaign. So I'm not sure how that would go. Uh, and that might not be a good use of my time either. I don't know how um, how valuable that would be in terms of uh, an exercise. So that's kind of a quick uh, look or, or you know, uh, I don't know, uh, commentary on what I was thinking about trying to play and I'd love to squeak, squeak. I'd love to hear from you guys as to what, what you think might be interesting. Well, the other thing we could do is there's a Hannibal game from SBI. Uh, it's a magazine game that we could kind of get stuck into and have a go at that. It's kind of an area movement thing. I'm not sure how robust it is as a title. Uh, I've got a bunch of other crap lying around on my BGG list you could check out. If you see something you think is doable in a day or two, Pop a comment below, let me know uh, what you think, and you know you guys will be driving what the story is, so uh, the sooner you let me know the better, and I look forward to talking to you real soon. Ciao. Button is here.